We are starting a new month and the heat is continuing. It certainly has, but we know our chief meteorologist Chris Holcomb, you're also tracking Hurricane Barrow. This is a major monster storm that's down in the Caribbean right now, and this is the first time that we have ever had a category four storm in the month of June. Now I know today's July 1st, but yesterday this hurricane became a category four. So that's the earliest that we've ever had one that strong. Here is that system right now. I'm going to get to that in just a second. First, I want to show you this uh, over in Mexico because because that was briefly Tropical Storm Chris. It only lasted really for a few hours. It's inland now, so it's no more. But here is Barrel. This is the Category 4 storm. It did move through some of the islands there around Grenada. And just look at the structure of that storm, that really well-defined eye. Max winds at about 150 miles an hour. Here's the latest track that we just got in from the National Hurricane Center at 5 o'clock. We have Tropical Storm warnings in effect for the southern part of uh, Haiti and the Dominican Republic. We have a hurricane watch in effect for Jamaica. Now it doesn't look like it's going to hold on to the cat four status as it moves all the way through the Caribbean. It may experience a little bit of shear in the Western Caribbean, meaning it should weaken a little bit down to a two near category two near Jamaica. That would still be a uh, cause some damage there. Then down to a one as it's nearing the Yucatan Peninsula and then most likely a tropical storm as it moves into the southern parts of the uh, of the uh, Gulf of Mexico there at the Bay of Campeche. There's another system right behind barrel though, it has a 20% chance of developing over the next two days, 50% chance developing over the next five days. As of right now, it's too early to tell if any of these systems or it would impact us. It does look, though, those, look, look like those chances, though, are on the low end. We'll talk more about our hot weather and some heat relief in store for tomorrow coming up.